Hey everybody, welcome to Beyond Local, episode 44, our third installment of Get to Know LSEO. With me as always is the best color man in the business, Steve Blackburn. That was the first compliment you gave me in a long time, so I don't know how to take that, but thank you, and uh, I I couldn't be happier to be here. Yeah, you know, and uh, you know, with uh, Get to Know LSEO, Normally on Beyond Local, we talk about industry insights and tips and tricks, uh, but we wouldn't be here without the employees of LSEO and the work that they do. I'm really excited about today's guest because I've worked with her for almost a year now, and I don't know much about our guest. So, Steve, who did you bring down today? Well, double the pleasure, double the fun. I've got to work with her for almost two years now, and I feel like I have gotten to know to know our guest, so... I think that it's time for the people to as well. Yeah. So this is content writer Jade Matusik. Welcome, Jade. Thank it's great you to for have having you today. me. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to ask you a string of questions. Some we might have told you ahead of time. Some we might not have. Uh, would you like to go first or do you want me to go first? I forget. Well, you know, since you gave me a compliment today, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to run with that. So right. the people need to know. <laughs> Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at LSEO and how you help our clients, you know, become successful? And so I'm a content writer, um, which is pretty easy to explain what I do. I write content all day long for the <laughs> clients. Okay. And, and how does that, how does that help them? Um, so it brings more traffic to their websites. Um, we can like answer the questions that people have about the services they offer and just like get to know more about the industries that they work in. Perfect. So just for the folks out there, I know that we've got a lot of marketing veterans now and I bet my mom feels like one. So mom, this is when when we go to websites and we have service pages or blog pages. So Jade is in charge of helping people uh, rank better for keywords through optimizations and also blog posts that will get them new keywords and improve their rankings, correct? Yes. Perfect. I'm going to add on a little additional question there because content writing, you're selling yourself short. How do you know <laughs> what to write? Um, so um, a lot of the times the people who run the accounts um, will come up with the topics for it. And I do like just a lot of research to learn more about it and see like what other people talk about when they talk about these topics just to kind of get in deeper about it. Great. That's what I was thinking. You got to do a lot of research in order to be writing for the different types of uh, clients that we have. You know, we for sure. I mean, we have mega huge corporations down to the local mom and pop shop. And not only that, but then just the variety of different verticals, whether it's e-commerce or service based or informational based. I mean, we we run the whole gamut and we just really couldn't do it without you. Right. So with that said, tell us a little bit about your background, your professional resume. You know, how did you get here? Um, So I went to school at Susquehanna University in central Pennsylvania, and I was a creative writing major. So that's really how I got my start, just um, four years of studying, like writing and how to become a better writer and how to like entertain people through that. So you always wanted to be a writer. So you went to school, you knew Mm -hmm. it right ahead of time. That's awesome. That's great. Nobody really has that, you know, the focus (laughs) usually that early. Right, right. Well, I didn't. (laughs) I have 10 fingers. I probably had more majors um, <laughs> or at least thoughts of majors. So so wait, let's back up just a second here mm-hmm. because I don't know where Susquehanna is. Can you? It's in Sealands Grove. Oh, okay. um, it's like if you know like Lewisburg or mm-hmm. Danville, it's around that area. It's okay. a really small town. Yeah, yeah. I, I know a brewery in Sealands Grove. <laughs> so, so, you know, go figure. So, so then let's, let's go to the next piece. So you went to college, mm-hmm. creative writer. Um, How'd you get here? Like you could have picked anywhere in the world and content marketing and content writing is in such demand. But what led you to LSEO? Um, Well, I'm from the area and I wanted to stay here after college. I went away um, about like an hour and a half and then I wanted to stay here for like a good while after that. Um, And I did have like smaller jobs like in between working here and getting out of college, you know, just like getting work that I could Mm -hmm. like as soon as I graduated and like taking my time to find what I wanted to do. Um, And then when I found the job listing here, it matched everything that I really wanted to do um, because I did want to still have like some ability to be creative Mm -hmm. in my writing professionally, which a lot of writing jobs didn't seem like they could really allow you to do. Um, But this you still get to like explore a lot of different things and get to try new things. So that's was a big thing for me. 
All right, perfect. Well, like I said, we're lucky to have you. So I'm glad that the uh, the world works in mysterious ways. And <laughs> now we've got Jade. Right. So you, you said you worked some other smaller jobs. Anything interesting or you want to share with it, um, us there? Not really. Um, in college, it had nothing to do with what I was studying. I worked in a daycare and I loved okay. that. It was so much fun. Um, mm-hmm. But I don't think I would ever be able to do it <laughs> permanently. It was just like a couple hours a day and that's all I could handle. <laughs> okay. All right. That's good. That's interesting. So what's your favorite thing about working here at LSEO? I like getting to know more about the different clients that we write for. Um, Because like you said, we write for so many different industries and all the businesses are so different. Um, I love getting to do the research for it and just learning new things that I really would have no other need to really know about. (laughs) Right, right. I mean, especially some of them are, uh, you know, without getting into some of it, but like, you know, photogrammetry and things (laughs) like uh, I remember when I first started, uh, one of the content members said to me, we got an answer box. And I'm like, of course we did. Um, <laughs> but what was it for? And he's like, what is photogrammetry? And I'm like, you know, that's going to get some traffic because I have no idea <laughs> sure. what that is. So I'm going to look it up. And sure enough, it answered it. So, <laughs> all right. So we're, we're glad you're here. We're glad that you enjoy, uh, you know, learning about our clients and, and doing the research there. And it keeps you engaged and it keeps us engaged. And as someone who works with the clients, I got to say, I like, I like learning about their accounts as well. And I'm, I'm sure you do because, mm-hmm. you know, you often get to meet them before all of us, right? You know, you get Absolutely. that initial conversation, but, uh, Let's 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 give you some some magical powers, you know, uh, CEO hat for for just a minute. And sorry, Jonesy, we'll give it right back. But <laughs> CEO hat for a minute. If you could change one thing about the LSEO office or culture or anything like that, what would it be? Um. So this is more so just for me personally, since we've gotten back into the office um, after working from home. Um, but something I've been working on. I need office plans. <laughs> office plants okay you know that's not a bad idea so do you have plants at home i have um i have plants at home um but i can't bring any of them in because they're none of them are like in great shape i had plants at my desk before the pandemic Mm -hmm. started and i I took them home and they didn't do well and they haven't done well since they must have missed me (laughs) Uh, if you bring them back maybe (laughs) maybe my energy can bring them back (laughs) They're not dying, but they're like not thriving at all. <laughs> well, it's withdraw. I mean, they know I'm still out there. So, so here's 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 one that I could see though, right? And this is just I, I let my imagination run wild sometimes. So I I see you, and this <laughs> it's going to be wild, right? But it's bonsai tree, you know, snipping and and, and making things like you know, could, could you could you get into it? Um, I I would be into that. Yeah, I try to like take good care of my plants. I read that it was good to like shake them like shake oh, house really? plants to make it feel like wind okay and i have probably like nine or ten plants at home that i just have to like every now and then like shake them around the room okay. um so i think like trimming a bonsai tree i could handle <laughs> i don't know where to get one but a what, bonsai tree yes okay but what i can start with and you'll remember this is the chia pet <laughs> and we can let you manicure the, the, you know, his hair comes out, so maybe you could put it into a mohawk or something, and we could start there, and let's see if you like it, and then and then if if it can progress, then we can get into the art of bonsai. Bonsai trees. That's nice. That's, that's very. Exciting. I never heard of shaking a tree. I've heard of playing it music, talking to it, of course, you know, outside of sunlight and water. But that's and it's also funny that um, you know throughout the pandemic when everybody was all work from home except for the executive team we had plants here but nobody took care of them <laughs> you know so they didn't make it through the pandemic i forgot to put that into your roles and responsibilities yeah. so yeah so it's great to have you back in the office and help us take care of some of the plants in here so all right um how about tell us a little bit about you what you like to do outside of lseo what are your hobbies what do you like to do so outside of work i'm pretty boring um i love to stay home and like just do things at home. I'm a big reader. So most of the time, like when I get home, I just like sit down with a book for a while and that's like my plans. And I've recently gotten into knitting. Um, So I'm kind of like a grandma when I'm at home. (laughs) What are you knitting? Um, (laughs) Not really anything yet. I've had attempts. I tried to knit a scarf, but it's too wide 
to be a scarf and too narrow to be a blanket. So I don't really have anything yet. Skirt. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say a shawl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the big brain on Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, so you're just learning, so you're going to be practicing. Do you have anything in mind that you do want to create? I want to knit a sweater, um, but my problem has been that I, I really, like, overestimated my abilities a lot, and I thought I could just pick it up without practicing, um, so that's where my problems have been. Okay. I don't actually know how to do anything at all, but I've tried. Well, that's good, though. So I know that before, uh, you know, the big C word, I don't <laughs> like to refer to it anymore. Okay. But before that happened, right, and and we all had to go away from the office. I was, I don't want to say interrogating you, but I was, I was, I was pretty hard on you about trying to get a pet. Remember? Yes. Um, so Jade wanted a dog. Okay. And I was, okay. I was, I was trying to get her to get a, a dog, and it, that part didn't work out. So then I was moving <laughs> on to like lizards, turtles, <laughs> okay. other reptiles and amphibians. So did you ever get a dog? No, I wish. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Here's 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 the ultimate test is as you go into your knitting, maybe you can create some little booties for <laughs> your your uh canine. Future. Yeah, your future, future canine. canine. Yeah, yeah. And uh maybe maybe just maybe once you realize that you have mastered that skill, it is time to take on the uh <laughs> the uh, the uh, responsibility, that's the word I was looking okay. for, the responsibility of, of having a, a, a dog then. So <laughs> we're going to keep you, we're, we're going to keep you all posted and I'm obviously going to, to continue to ask. <laughs> but uh, so let's, let's go back and instead of the CEO hat, because you already wore that, now you get to wear like the, the wizard hat or the, the, the genie lamp or something, right? So we're going to give you the ability to pick a superpower, any superpower in the world. I would want to be invisible. And why? Um, <laughs> it's not really for like a good reason. Um, okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Even even just went up yes. on everybody's monitor. Yes. They're <laughs> listening. Um, but I'm super nosy and I love to eavesdrop on people. And okay. so that would make it so easy to just like spy on people. <laughs> That is fantastic. That is fantastic. <laughs> but when she was like, it's not for a good thing, I was like, who's she stealing from? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, right? Like, I would love to just go to the Fort Knox or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking all the gold. And then she'll be like, a uh, gold member in, in Austin Power. <laughs> I love gold. <laughs> right? so, but okay. that's, that's awesome because, uh, well, I guess one day I'll get interviewed and you'll know mine, but... Yeah. I, I, I like I like the method behind your madness there. <laughs> All right, good one. All right, um, so um, outside of that, how about a skill? Um, I would love to be able to like do math at all. Okay, so you're not very good at math. No, yeah, no, I'm a writer for a reason. Okay. Um, <laughs> like math, finances, like science, I can't do any of that, and I'd, okay. I'd like to be able to do it. <laughs> Okay, great. That's good. That's a good skill to have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 one of the important ones. Um, all right. So the, the next piece here, I wanted I want to get into, and you'll notice uh, I like to ask more of the personal stuff. So this is going to be like your favorite, and I'm going to start off with who's your favorite band or musician? Um, I think my favorite bands are probably Fleetwood Mac and Arctic Monkeys. So I knew the Fleetwood Mac. Okay. I didn't know the Arctic yeah. Monkeys. Now, I feel like I definitely know something they did. And, uh, you know, right here, I think we need to have like a cool injection of a of Arctic Monkeys. Yes, because okay. then when, when we rewatch it, I'm going to be like, of course you knew, Boomer. Like, right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, so what about what about your favorite movie? Um, so I have a lot of favorite movies, and I never really know, like, what my favorite one is. It's mm -hmm. usually, like, the one I most recently watched. Um, but I think I'd probably say You've Got Mail with Meg Ryan from the 90s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember Tom that Hanks, one. right? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. and, uh, and, and, and last but certainly not least, uh, what's your favorite book? The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I don't know that one. Can you, can you give me the cliff notes? Um, <laughs> so it's set, I think it's like about like the 1950s, maybe 60s. Um, it's about this girl like in her early 20s, she's in college and she's trying to become a writer too. Um, and she has like a psychotic break and it just like goes through like her treatment, um, which like during the 1950s, like wasn't particularly 
effective or right. safe or anything. Um, I've loved it since I was in high school. So is it is it like a uh, biographical? Is it a thriller? Like what's what's the style? It's fiction, but it's like largely based off of Sylvia Plath's life. Oh wow! Oh okay, so she's a person. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Well, yeah, she's the author. <laughs> See, you can't do math, and I can't remember what you just told me six seconds ago. <laughs> oh, no, that's good. That's what I was going to ask. Like, when did you first find that book? But in, in high school. Mm-hmm. So that's great. Good. Because uh, it's one of your favorite things you like to do. Yes. All right. So um, here at Beyond Local, like I said in the beginning, we do a lot of tips, tricks, industry insights, and uh, things of that nature. And, you know, we're in this little segment where we're introducing everybody to our uh, employees. But we like to interject some of that you know, industry knowledge into this. So can you share with us, you know, something that you've learned over time, some tip or trick that you learned while you were here that you'd like to give our viewers right now? Um, so I think for me, related to my job, um, I think like the best tip is to just try to stay like, like entertaining and informative in your writing um, and not like just trying to like sell things to people. You want to actually be able to like provide something that they benefit from without making them buy something okay great i think that goes along with uh you know we know the natural language processing that 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 google wants so Mm -hmm. great answer right you want people to keep reading what you're writing (laughs) right (laughs) engagement right yeah exactly um i don't know if you have any more questions because i want to do the the new thing that we've decided (laughs) to do well (laughs) do i have questions of course i do man no no no, definitely not because (laughs) because as i tell the people and you you know, you should remember a week ago. I can't remember two minutes, though. <laughs> so, but uh, no, I mean, there's there's a lot more questions. But I'm hoping that you enjoyed yourself talking with us. I know that Jeff and I enjoy ourselves. Absolutely. And I know that people enjoy this. So, you know, I don't want to take all the questions because then we can't have round two. But, right. but spoiler alert, Jeff's got a uh, a new announcement for this segment. Right. Since uh, we're getting a lot of views, a lot of people are interested um, in learning about our employees. So we appreciate it. Continue to to watch our videos, listen to our podcasts, you know, email in. That's fantastic. What we decided to do going forward, because we want to go through all of our employees, even Steve, uh, we're going to allow the most recent guest on our show to pick <laughs> the next guest. So, Jade, with that said, who is going to be the next guest? Uh, the next guest is going to be Nina. All right, so. Can't wait. Now, yeah. all I'm thinking, though, right, big budget show we have here. Mm-hmm. So we need to add in the little little drum. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Dramatic effect. But uh, so Nina it is. So next week, everybody, tune in. We're going to have Nina Coons. You can read up about her on the LSEO website ahead of time. But Jeff and I will be here to ask the hard questions that you all want to know. Right. Absolutely. So thank you for tuning in. If you have questions, comments, put them in the comments box. You can email Jade if you want to. Jade at LSEO if you have some intriguing questions for her um, or reach out to us at any point. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.